In response to increasing concerns about child abuse and neglect, in South Australia, the government has instituted a co-design process to develop a new child and family support system. One of its findings is that we need trauma responsive practice, not just trauma informed practice, but trauma responsive practice that's able to respond uh, to the needs of often generations of trauma that families have experienced. And we need to embed that into our services. We need early help and support pathways, particularly in the first thousand days, to be able to gather around children and families and give them the kind of support that they need. And we need more better improved collaboration with government and non-government agencies, service providers and educational institutions to bring this about and develop a workforce that can deliver the kind of services that families need. Earlier this year in March, a National Early Years Summit was convened in Melbourne to develop a blueprint to improve the wellbeing of babies and toddlers and their families in Australia. A challenge that we all are trying to address in various ways in, in our states and in our communities. One of the things that came up with was, first of all, that we needed truth telling and learning exercise with First Nations people. What can we learn from them, from their culture and their way of doing things? And what are they telling us about how they need to be supported? And we need to learn new ways of working and sharing power, a challenging space for most of us. And we need regional and state action networks for young children. So we need to be able to get together in local communities and uh, work out how our services can work together and collaborate and provide the kind of integrated support that families and children need. And we need to build collective leadership and powerful coalitions and partnerships to bring this about. In Adelaide, a network of practitioners, service providers and researchers are facilitating a series of conversations to explore how we can improve on the ways that we work together. These are big challenges. How do we do it? How do we actually work this out in practice on the ground? You're welcome to join us online as we move towards developing this action plan. Please watch this space for further details.